What is up guys, it's any tier or Guild Forever, however you want to call me. This is a review portion for The Promised Neverland, Episode 9. There's a cliff over the gate. Now, I don't know if that's been there for a while or if that was recently made. Because I think I remember very well that they inspected what was beyond the gate. So I think ever since their last attempt, Isabella took precautions and made sure it, like um, that cliff was made, that little indentation, to make sure in case someone did get over the wall, it doesn't matter. You can't get over that. How are they going to get over that? It's way too deep and, not, and, the, and the distance is too far away. No jump can make it. They need to... The only thing I could think of is swinging over there. But how are you going to swing over there if there is literally no goddamn freaking way to propel yourself toward there? I mean, the only thing I can come up with is remember that rope that they had? Emma, Ray... Emma, Ray, and freaking um Norman have to, or or Gilda. If, if Emma can do it, then Gilda, um, Don, and Ray need to go with Norman toward the gate. All of them get to the highest portion. Use that rope. Someone has to support the rope as leverage while Norman is on the other side, and Norman just swings. That may not be far enough, but they need to make the rope even longer than possible, like extremely long. And somehow just propel him so far away as far as they can to make sure he can reach the other side. That's the only thing that comes to mind. But they need, but they, if, where are they going to get more, more rope? I'm sure they gathered majority of the materials they can use to leverage him over there. Not to mention, it looks pretty freaking far apart. At least it look, it looks at least either... A little bit over half a mile, or at least a mile. It look it, it looked about a mile to maybe okay. It ranges from estimate range from one mile to two mile radius. Wait, no, yeah, two to one to two mile radius. That is freaking far. That is really far. How the hell are you even gonna leverage yourself to make that? That is almost impossible. Damn, dude, I gotta know, was that, guys, if I missed it, please let me know in the comment section below. Was that cliff recently made, or has that been there for the longest time? If it's spoilers, do not tell me. If it's kind of something I should already know, please notify me, because that's some bullshit. Yes, I know I cursed, I don't freaking care. That is straight up bullshit. How the hell are they gonna get out now? Hmm? Hmm? Let's just say worst case scenario, Norman gets shipped. What about Emma and Ray? What are they gonna do? It's gonna take a month or two for her leg to heal. A month or two. You have any idea how, how you have any idea how many people could get shipped by then? Ray could be shipped next, and by the time it's fully healed, Emma's already go is already gonna be a nice fitting dish for these damn sick demon things. Like god damn man. The situation just keeps getting worse and worse. Now I'm having doubts that Norman's gonna make it. Because he, it's literally sunset and it's getting close to nightfall. You understand this, right? At nightfall or evening, he's gonna be shipped. The kid is gonna freaking die. And he's scared out of his mind. He's scared. He's crying, he doesn't want to lose his friends, he doesn't want to lose his family, he doesn't want to lose anyone, he doesn't want to be away from them, he wants to live. And now that life is going to be wrongly taken, robbed away from him. These, could, these kids shouldn't be going through this crap. They need to get out, all of them, not just some of them, all of them. How? How? 
at this point, the only thing I can say they can possibly do right now, other than that one other plan, to at least have a higher chance of, of Norman uh, living, they need to rally. You know, yeah, they need to rally. The kids need to... What's even point of telling the other kids? They're way too young to understand these things. And even if they do understand, like, oh, you're telling us our mother this entire time has been trying to feed us to these sick monsters... They're not going to believe them, and they're just going to tattletale on them. And at that point, probably, they're all going to be shipped, the ones trying to escape. The kids, knowing, will not serve anything. It will only worsen the situation. But then again, Don, Gilda, Ray, and Emma. Emma was their best bet to head to going head to head with Isabella. But now she's royally done. She cannot fight. She can't even run. I literally don't know what these kids are going to do. The situation has escalated and the situation is now dire. One of their own is about to become demon food. Norman literally has no more than a, f than a few hours. Hell, probably a few minutes till he gets shift and gets taken off. And then he won't be able to come back from this. He's going to die. And then literally, not only did they lose a family member, they lost one of their greatest minds in the whole team. Norman was literally their large source of intelligence to feed them what they needed to get in order to survive, to escape the plan, everything. Yes, Ray had a hand in this. Ray had a huge hand in the two. But you know what? With Norman, everything they've done so far was ruined by Isabella. How are they going to do now that they're royally crippled? What are they going to do now? Okay, bullshit, man. I swear to God, dude, if Ray free, no, if, Ray, if Norman dies, we already lost Connie. I don't need a, I don't need to see another kid's corpse again. How many kids are going to die? Hmm? Is this is where the series is going? How many kids, how many kids are going to damn die, huh? What, are all the little kids going to die except Ray and Emma? That's what I'm going to freaking lead to believe. I'm starting to think only Ray and Emma are going to live through this whole thing while everyone slowly dies off with these, with these monsters. And you, Isabella, you tried to escape from this before. How could you send these kids even though you know what's going to be at the end of them? You know what's going to happen by the end of this. Why are you sentencing these kids to death? You raised them. And you are a mother. What kind of mother sends their kids off to be sentenced to death? You might as well just kill them yourself. I just have to say, Emma? Emma. Isabella? You're freaking disgusting. To allow these kids to become monster food. And you put on this fake smile. Yeah, I get it. You want to live. But how? But honestly... Is living long enough to see all these innocent kids killed off really worth your life? Why don't you fight with them? Why don't you escape with them? You're in the same situation as... Based on what Crone has said, you have a little tracking device in yourself too. You're eventually going to be demon food. Why don't you fight with them instead of fighting against the your, your own people? Huh? Why don't you fight back? freaking coward I already know Isabella tried to escape she tried to live she tried to do what these kids are doing right here but she lost faith she lost faith and now she is doing the same thing that was done to her the same panic the same fear the drive the will the determination to live in this world he is she is slowly crushing that very sign of hope for these kids and making sure they constantly are reminded you are going to die and you are going to be eaten after you die 
So that's what we're doing. We're building these kids up only to squash their hopes and dreams toward the end. To see them become demon food. How can you live with yourself knowing that at the end of the day, when you ship someone out, you just t- you you basically killed someone. You killed someone, you let it happen, and you still put on a f- fudging smile at the end of the day. I'm sorry if I'm hitting things. People, You can arguably say that I'm over... No, this is my genuine feelings because... I hate seeing this pretentious excuse for a mother. Call, she, she has no right to call herself a mother, by the way. Freaking s- sentence all these children to death. Raised them since infants. Cared for them. Treated them. When they were sick. Read them a bedtime story. All these things. I'm sure she's done everything a mother should do for their kids. Yet, be- based on how these kids are each and every day. They never are selfish. They never complain. They never stray away from their path. She sent, she takes them and go get killed. Let's them go be killed and then be eaten afterwards. What kind of life is that to send kids in order to, to, to make sure you live to see another day? You are killing kids to make sure you live another damn day you heartless coward i'm done i know i've been going off a lot on isabella this entire review but you know what i freaking hate that woman and i hope she gets hers for sure um questions questions What would you have done, guys? If you were Norman and you saw that hill, you saw that that cliff, after everything everyone went through to make sure you escape, what would have you have done? What would have you done? Would you still try to find find a way to escape? Or what? Because if Norman did get rid of the tracking device with that electrical thing, can he just zap that electrical thing and just hide? Why doesn't Norman just hide? That's what if I would have done. If I sort circuited that device, I would have been hiding. Yes, I know I'm lacking food resources and everything, but I'd rather hide than to submit to defeat and stay hidden for quite a while. Because if you're staying hidden, that shows right there. Isabella's deadline and her record, her reputation will be tarnished. That meaning she would get the death sentence, just like Crone. That's what have I've done. I would, uh, if I can't get over that cliff, I would hide and at some point made sure everyone believed I escaped somehow, some way. I would have made everyone believe that that way. Uh, something would it would cause a panic. Nothing would be predicted as normal. That's what have I would have done. What would have you have done, guys, if you were in Norman's situation? Uh, question two. Damn, sorry guys, I'm just, I'm still a little heated up, and at the same time, I'm trying to think of a question. I apologize. Um, damn. If you were in a situation where you're about to be shipped, you knew everything, you were like them, you had a plan, you were going to escape, etc., but you were going to be shipped, what would be the most impactful what would be the emotions you'd be going through at that moment at that time what would be the one thing and by the way would you be scared also too or would you, what would you would you go basically would you go through what kind of emotions would you go through in that situation the moment you're going to be shipped there's no you can be personal if you want to if you don't i understand but once again these are just like topics we can talk on all right then guys those are the two questions don't forget to like comment sub if you haven't already we're motivated to put more content out there for you guys and i'll see you guys on the future reactions peace
I know it looks bad, but I really hope Norman does not die. I can't. I don't want to see that kid die. Anyway, guys, peace.